And Okay, at BASCAP, one of our number one goals is to be the best problem solvers in the world. And this morning, Andre and I had a problem with some glue getting on the outside, a little residue on the outside of our 2P10 bottle. So we had to go through a whole problem solving scenario to solve that problem. And it was really cool how it turned up because at the end, it was a very simple solution that was right in front of our noses and we were going through all kinds of crazy things to fix this problem, including building molds and tooling and everything else. And Andre found the solution at the end. So we thought it would be cool to kind of walk you through the whole process we went through in five minutes instead of the hour that it took us so you can kind of see the problem solving that FastCap goes through whenever we have a problem. So here we go, let's get going. So Andre, go ahead and tell us what was going on. Well, first of all, we decided to find out where the vapor was coming from. Okay, so we got this residue on the front there. Exactly, each lid comes with two parts on it. Goes on the bottle. And then let's go ahead and put this right over here. Goes on the bottle, that's the first part. And the second part is a pin cap that goes onto the lid. So, first idea that came to mind, and Paul, would you like to tell us about that? Yeah, we have this bottle of activator, and we actually have a little red seal that we already put in there, just like this. So we thought, well, what the heck, what if we took that red seal and put it in the top of the bottle like this, and then put the cap on top, and that would create a nice seal. But we found out that it won't fit, because after cutting one of these apart, we notice that there's a seal in here. And that seal won't fit into the top of that red piece It there. would not fit in. Okay, so now we got a problem. So then what do we do next? Andre? We decided to see how it seals the bottle without the red seal. Okay. And we notice that it goes in there very, very snugly. So the leak wasn't occurring around the outside bottle there. Definitely that was probably not. good. Especially since we noticed that there was a foam seal inside the bottle here. Right. That looked like this. So if we could stop the glue from getting up to the pin and cap area, we could probably stop the vaporization that was happening on the outside. And so we thought, well, let's put a seal on there, just like this as well. So the, the red seal didn't work, but then we thought, well, we'll put a paper seal on there like this. But that didn't work because, again, it would cause us to change the mold in tens and thousands of dollars and the pin would have to look like this. And another thing that would happen is this foam seal would no longer be there. So once this seal would be broken, there would be no more seal protecting it. And the other idea that we had was to mold this red cap over over the, the lid itself. So create a customized one that fit over the top of that, thereby making a seal. So we would have a little seal, a little one like this, but only customized. But okay. we noticed that wouldn't work because it was way too thick. It still. was just too tight, so we'd have to change again the mold on the main tip, and that would be very, very expensive. So then we decided, well, there must be some vapor getting past this little tip right here. So we went ahead and cut the pin and cap open and show us that, Andre, what we did on that one. So we cut it open right here, okay. and we noticed the pin. So we took show one of the, the lids. A little bit more clearly on the camera here. There we go. So we got the pin. And we took one of the lids and we tried to put it inside the lid. And we noticed that fit in very, very snugly too. So then we decided to take a bottle, flip it upside down and squeeze to see how much it... was getting past. Exactly. And we did that and it turned out some was getting past there. So when these bottles were tipped over, they were obviously leaking just enough to create this vapor that was getting on the outside of the bottle that was causing the problem. Exactly, and our first idea was to put a little bit of rubber around the pin, but this would be very complicated and consider it gets very thin inside of there and it would cost a lot of money too. So that idea didn't work. So we figured now what we got to do is somehow stop the glue from getting to the outside of the bottle or at least the vapor of the glue because there really wasn't any glue getting out. It was just the vaporizing of the glue which would mi mix with the air which had moisture in it and create this little white chalky film on the outside of the bottle. Exactly. Okay. So we noticed that when the pin cap is on the lid, it sits, sits inside of a, a little a lip. flat lip. Andre actually noticed this which was really cool. Also. And then looking at the bottom side, we noticed that that lip was the same size as the bottom one. So we decided to th just take one of the foams from the bottom and put it over the top to see if it would work. Okay. And lo and behold, when we screwed that on, we got a tight seal here. So now we had a seal on the top of the bottle and we had a seal on the pin and cap collar. So even if a little bit of glue leaked by the pin and cap, 
it was totally captured and the vapor couldn't get to the outside and it was as simple as taking a little tiny foam seal that was already part of our process and adding an additional one on the top instead of a $10,000 mold. What a solution. Exactly. And it was, was right in front of our nose. Us. Exactly. So there's problem solving at FastCap, and that's generally the way most problems can be solved. There's usually a very simple solution, and it's right in front of us. We just need to be diligent enough to find it. Thanks for watching.